In addition to their six top 40 songs, the Yardbirds will be remembered as having produced the top three English blues-based guitarists of the 60s, Eric Clapton, Jeff Beck, and Jimmy Page. The Yardbirds formed in June 1963 with Keith Ralph on vocals and harmonica, Chris Dreha on guitar, Jim McCarty on drums, Paul Samuel Smith on bass, and Anthony Top Topham on guitar. That October, Topham was replaced by Eric Clapton. The group was originally called the Most Blues Wailing Yardbirds, and their repertoire consisted entirely of blues cover songs. Their following increased when they replaced the Rolling Stones as the house band at the Crawdaddy Club in Richmond, Surrey, England. The group's first solo album, For Your Love, was released in the U.S. in August 1965. The title track reached number six on the U.S. charts. Later that year, the group released Having a Rave Up. By the time of that album's release, Clapton had quit the band and he only appeared on four tracks. He eventually joined John Mayall's Blues Breakers. Clapton initially recommended that the group hire Jimmy Page as guitarist, but Page was hesitant about giving up his lucrative studio work, and he recommended his friend Jeff Beck. Beck played his first gig with the Yardbirds in May 1965. His innovative playing with fuzz tone, feedback, and distortion altered the Yardbird sound, and the group began to experiment with various European and Asian styles. Still I'm Sad, Turn Into Earth, Hot House of Omagasharid, Farewell, and Ever Since the World Began were some of the tracks he played on. Beck played lead guitar in several Yardbirds hits, including Heart Full of Soul, I'm a Man, Shapes of Things, and Over Under Sideways Down. The group played its first U.S. tour in August 1965. Three more U.S. tours took place during Beck's tenure with the band. In the summer of 1966, bassist Paul Samuel Smith quit the band to focus on record production. He went on to produce such artists as Carly Simon, Cat Stevens, and Jethro Tell. His replacement was Jimmy Page. After Page's arrival, rhythm guitarist Dreha switched to bass, and Page and Beck both played lead guitar. This lineup can be seen in Michelangelo Antonini's film Blow Up from 1966. The Yardbirds performed Stroll On, a reworking of Train Kept a Rollin'. The Beck Page lineup recorded little else in the studio, and no live recordings of the dual lead guitar lineup have surfaced. The Beck Page Yardbirds also recorded a commercial for a milkshake product called Great Shakes, using the opening riff of Over Under Sideways Down. That was about all this version of the Yardbirds recorded, but Beck and Page did record one song with John Paul Jones on bass, Keith Moon on drums, and Nicky Hopkins on piano. The song was called Beck's Bolero, and it was inspired by Ravel's Bolero. The song was the B-side of Beck's first solo single, Hi Ho Silver Lining. It also appeared on Beck's first album, Truth, in 1968. As a yardbird, Beck missed many shows due to health problems, and he wound up leaving the band in November 1966. The Yardbirds carried on as a quartet, and in 1967 they released another LP, Little Games. Additional singles were released, but they didn't do well. Finally, on July 7, 1968, the group played its final show at the Luton College of Technology in Bedfordshire, England. After that, the Yardbirds disbanded. Ralph and McCarty formed a folk duo called Together, which was followed by Renaissance and later Armageddon. Page formed the new Yardbirds. That group eventually mutated into Led Zeppelin. Chris Dreha became a photographer and shot the band photos for Zeppelin's eponymous debut. Ralph died of an electric shock at his home on May 14, 1976. Despite their relatively brief career, the Yardbirds had a major impact on rock and roll. According to Rolling Stone, the group virtually wrote the book on guitar-oriented blues-based rock and roll. They were a crucial link between mid-60s British R&B and late-60s psychedelia, 
setting the groundwork for heavy metal. During a joint interview with Beck and Clapton, Beck explained, I was sitting in Jimmy's house, Beck says, explaining how he replaced Clapton in the band in 1965. Jimmy had the best record collection, and his mom always bought him the best stereo equipment. He said to me, what do you think of this? And he played Five Long Years, the slow, steamy Eddie Boyd cover on the Yardbirds 1964 album with Clapton, Five Live Yardbirds. The solo you played on that, Beck tells Clapton, was fucking wonderful. I went, this is like Buddy Guy, Elmore James. Oh, thank you, man, Clapton replies with honest gratitude. Then, Beck continues, Jimmy said, would you ever play in a band like that? He was sort of feeling me out. He didn't say there was a vacancy. What was his involvement, Clapton asked. Did the band ask him to ask you? No, they asked him first, Beck says. He turned them down. This is news to Clapton, who looks incredulous. Why? Beck explains that Page, who finally joined the Yardbirds in 1966, briefly played with Beck in the band, then replaced Beck entirely before going on to form Led Zeppelin in 1968, was then a busy, well-paid session man. So Beck says, I got the call. I remember the first time I saw Jeff play, Clapton says, picking up his end of the tale. It was after he knew he got the job. He turns to Beck, grinning. I snuck into a gig. You were still in the tridents. You had hair below here. He gestures at the upper chest level. And all this fucking echo on your guitar. I'm thinking, do they really know what they let themselves in for? When I joined the R-Birds, Beck says, all I kept hearing was stories in the van. Eric wouldn't have done this. Eric wouldn't have done that. I went, shut the fuck up. Eric isn't in the band. The two men explode with laughter. They didn't like me when I was in the band, Clapton says, his voice dropping to a low, reflective tone. I was very disagreeable. Intolerant, really. Anyone who didn't know Robert Johnson, I didn't want to know them. Clapton abruptly quit the Yardbirds after their recording session for their first pop hit, For Your Love, because it offended his blues purism. No, they did like you, Beck counters. No, they didn't, Clapton insists. No, Beck repeats, this time with a reassuring smile. They were in awe. Clapton, Page, and Beck all hail from Surrey, which is a collection of small villages about an hour southwest of London. Clapton hails from a town called Ripley, while Page and Beck come from Epsom and Wallington, respectively. The area has been called the Surrey Delta because of the popularity of American blues music amongst its musicians. Jimmy Page was introduced to Beck by his older sister, who went to school with Page. At the same time, Clapton was aware of soon-to-be yardbird Chris Dreha, who Clapton knew from art school. The only alarming thing was how big a fool I'd make for myself if it was wrong. <laughs> I wasn't worried about falling. It was a thrill. Are you also a... I'm a guitarist as well, yes. Guitarist? Mm-hmm. Thank <laughs> you. 